More about functions part two. Array parameters. If we pass a traditional C style array into a function, it will not be passed by value. It is passed by pointer. Design-wise, this is because an array can take up much more memory space than a single variable. It is more efficient to pass direct access to an array via its address instead of copying over all the elements. If we're working with the std array or std vector, those are class objects and are still passed by value by default. Copying all the data over between an argument vector and a parameter vector is still inefficient, so it's best to pass it by reference. But what if we want the efficiency of pass by reference, but we don't want to allow our argument to change within the function? Const reference. We can mark a parameter with const, which means that the variable's value cannot be changed within that function. This way we can protect our data's integrity, but also pass our array object or other objects in an efficient way. It's considered best practice to do a const pass by reference for any object variables, which means its type is a class or struct. Basic variables like integers, floats, chars, etc. are small enough that making a copy of a single variable is generally negligible. Function overloading. You can give two different functions the same name as long as the function signatures for each is unique. The function signature is the name and parameter list of the function. So as long as two functions have distinct parameter lists, they can share the same name. This is called function overloading. To make a parameter list distinct, it needs a different amount of parameters, or its parameters need to be different data types than the other functions. When we call the function name, the version that gets called will be decided based on the types of the arguments passed in. Default arguments. We can provide each of a function's parameters with a default value if nothing is passed as an argument during the function call. This is called a default argument. The default value must be specified in the function declaration. The parameter is given a equal value. Nothing is changed in the function definition. During the function call, if nothing is passed in for that argument, then the parameter will receive the default value. Functions can be confusing at first, but they're an important programming tool.